This is nothing about fairness at all. We have 150 members in BC making $12 an hour that are losing their jobs and are being replaced by workers that are making $10.50 an hour. Yay! And to a company that made over a billion dollars in profit last year, all we can say is that this is an absolute tragedy. This is absolutely ridiculous and we just can't stand for it. Today, brothers and sisters, we stand for all contract workers, precarious workers, and we say there has to be a better way. First of all, it's a disgrace that people are going to make $10.50 an hour, right yet alone $12 an hour. But we need to say to young people, we need to say to people in precarious jobs that the union is here for them. The facts are is that we cannot rest until we find justice for these people, for these members, for these young workers in British Columbia. Because, uh, because a crime in British Columbia against working people is a crime in Ontario against working people. Here, here. Absolutely. We need to fight this injustice. We cannot live with a situation where young people are left behind. Young people have been told, get an education, go to college, go to university, and the good jobs will be waiting for you. And where do they find themselves? They find themselves in precarious, low-paying jobs. The reality is if, that people, if people can't hang on to $12 an hour jobs, what does their future look like? So we need to say to Cadillac Fairview that today is the start of a campaign until we seek justice for our members. This will not go down without a fight. So Cadillac Fairview, if you want a debate, you want to fight with Unifor, you are getting it and it is starting now. We will find justice. We will find justice for our members. We will fight for dignity for all workers. Get ready, Cadillac Fairview. That's only beginning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.